Now, pay discrepancy is a thing that has existed in pro wrestling for pretty much ever, you know? Uh, women get paid less than men, and the lower card gets paid less than the higher card. It's a, that's a thing. But it's, it's still a thing that exists now, and some women are disgusted by this. So, I'm here to, like, look at the, the roster, mainly of NXT and the main roster, to see if certain people should be paid more than others. Um, Gail Kim was recently on the Busted Open show, and she talked about how women and men don't make the same um, in the workplace. And I think uh, it's not necessarily a thing of gender; it's a thing of importance. If you were not, in, if you're not important to the fans, then you shouldn't be paid as as much as you know the top person in the company. Now, now let's look here at the roster currently right now. Uh, let's look at. Uh, someone like Nikita Lyons. She's the she's the new hot thing on the brand. She's only been there. She had one match on NXT. She had a couple matches on Two of Five Live, but she's a very a very hot character. But she's not in the same level or tenure as Raquel Gonzalez. Raquel Gonzalez was cha was the main champion of the women's brand, tech team champion as well. Currently in a lot of storylines as well. So Raquel Gonzalez should be making more. Pretty much more than any other woman on the roster in NXT right now because she's the focal point of a lot of different angles. They may have just lost. Uh, she may have just lost with the tag team partner in the tag team championship, but that does not mean that there's no, there's no story there. She got attacked by uh, Toxic Attraction, therefore she's still in the storyline with them as well. So she's a very strong focal point. Her and Nikita and Wendy Chu and Tiffany Stratton, no. No, Raquel Gonzalez makes more, should be making more than anybody else. Like I said, because of her tenure there, her continued push in that in the NXT brand, she should be paid the most of all the women there on that company. Like uh, like even pay, she Raquel Gonzalez should not be paid as much as Ulysses you know, Leon. No, no. Zoe Stark, no. As as the the Latina, no, no. Raquel should be paid the most of that entire brand. Um, because she's that of a focal point. Just like Roman Reigns, focal points of SmackDown, he should be paid more than anybody else on SmackDown. It's, it's, that, it's that simple. Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes? Let's, let's, let's talk about Carmelo Hayes and Cameron Grimes and Dolph Ziggler. We could do Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne's the same kind of category as Cameron, as him, I guess. Carmella Hayes, at this point, should be making more money than Cameron Grimes, but Ziggler should be making more money than Car Carmella Hayes, and here's why. He's a main roster star who came down to quote-unquote help NXT. He's also an NXT champion, that also upset also as well. So, Dolph Ziggler, he is a main roster kind of guy. He gets, he, he gets main roster money. And he should be be paid more than a developmental kind of guy, which is Carmelo Hayes, who's never even sniffed the main roster. Even though he's been in, in the company less time, far less time than Cameron Grimes has, Cameron Grimes' star has not shined as brightly as Carmelo Hayes has. So for that reason, Carmelo Hayes should be making the most right now when it comes to the NXT roster, when it comes to people that are overall there. He's in pro he's in programs, he gets my time, he, he gets like main event spots as well. So like if you're thinking about Carmelo Hayes should be paid the most, then what about Braun Breaker? Braun Breaker has not been around as long as Carmelo Hayes has, but the spotlight has shined just as brightly on both of them. And because he's in leagues with Tommaso Ciampa, who's been in the main in the NXT roster for a long time, uh, Braun Breaker should be making second place money along uh, in, in the same league as Carmelo Hayes is. So like Andre Chase should not, even though he's good, he's very funny. He's like a, he's a good supporting character. He should not there like that kind of stuff there. Him, Duke Hudson, um, Imperium. Uh, things like that, that not even Gunther should be making as much money as Carmelo Hayes or Braun Breaker. No. Even though Gunther has, you know, Gunther, Walter, what do you want to call him, has been making more money, uh, sorry, has been around the business longer than these two guys combined, uh, Gunther, unfortunately, is new for NXT. 
and he, he hasn't been spotlighted by the, by the company as much as Carmelo and Braun Breaker. So he should not be being paid as much. Andy Hartwell has been around longer uh, than, I think him, uh, sorry, her and him has been around the same amount of time, Indy and Cameron. So they should be making about the same. They're currently in storylines, but not the same spotlight thing. They should be making the same amount of money because they're important, but they're not like, you know, spotlighted like Carmelo Hayes or Braun Breaker or Raquel Gonzalez, that kind of stuff there. So, like, depending on, like, what the company treats you like, you should be paid accordingly so. So, like, Ryback was complaining many years ago about how him and Kalisto should be paid the same, even though Kalisto was being pushed more than he was, and he was doing the job for Kalisto to make him look good. He believes that he should be paid as much as Kalisto. No, that's not true. Because the company is putting more stock into Kalisto, he should be paid more. He has he has more to lose than he does because he's in the high grace of the company. So Kalisto should be paid more. Not a lot more, just be paid more for the match. Even though, so that's the, that's the way it goes. Let's look at the main roster. So Apollo Crews uh, was fast-tracked end from NXT to the main roster, and now he's in the, the lowest of lowest rung when it comes to wrestlers in the company. Him and Akira Tozawa and Drew Gulak, same kind of role, unfortunately. That's the kind of shit of this. Ricochet was there until last week when they gave him the title for some reason, but yeah. Um, so Ada Styles always spotlight, should be making like one of the highest m money. Bobby Lashley, spotlight as well. He should be making the same amount of money. The tenure, yada, yada, yada. He should be making a lot of money as well. Um, Edge uh, should be making the same money as AJ Styles because he's not there all the time, but AJ is, so same amount of money. So uh, Kevin Owens, pay this guy the moon. He's he's great as well. MVP, second tier kind of guy. Um, not a wrestler, but really good talker. Very important for people. Uh, so that kind of stuff there. So like, so more or less, there the the pay discrepancy should be done like that one. Uh, why is Brock there and not on SmackDown? Okay, so the same thing. Okay, so he's there on SmackDown, but not okay. He's, he's on both because he's Brock fucking Lesnar. So why the fuck? Uh, so he's like he's injured. What the fuck? Um. So, such a small roster. At least they're streamlining. At least they're that one. Look, 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 look how small the SmackDown page is compared to Raw. They make it work. And look at Raw. Then look at NXT, bro. That's a lot of fucking people. Yeah, they, they mostly use everybody here. Okay, so Trick Williams and Carmelo Hayes there. Even though they're always together, he should be making not nowhere near what Carmelo Hayes makes. He's not the star spotlight guy when it comes to in-ring work. Um, so, like, Carmelo Hayes is. He's the main guy, so Trick Williams should not make it that much. If Carmelo Hayes, let's just say, makes 300K, he should, Trick Williams, 80, 70K, something like that. No, you're not, you're not his level, buddy. You got the, you got a good look. You're something in the ring, and you, and you got uh, good mic skills, but you're not nearly the same focal point as Carmelo Hayes. So main rock, so SmackDown, like Roman Reigns making the most money. That's obvious stuff over here. Second place money, I'm thinking Drew, but not nearly as much. Who should be making second place money near near Roman Reigns? I don't see anybody, bro. Besides Drew, who just got there. Yeah, that's well. Brock Lesnar is like a, another category. Um, damn, yeah, Drew. But it's not even close now because they, they could build him up to be that level, so it's okay. After Drew, maybe Sheamus because he's been there so long and he's relatively important. Yeah, I don't really see he should make in third place money. Baron Corbin probably does because he's Baron Corbin. So yeah, probably probably that. Like they, these are probably making run the same amount of money. Shit. <clears throat> Let's go to Raw real quick to see if it's easier. Uh, number number one highest paid probably Becky Lynch. 
Okay, I think Idris Dells makes like three million a year, and that that's you know, that's definitely well earned. Um, she makes about one point five million. I think he makes about two million right there. Um, let me see here. Ezra makes he's part time. He doesn't count. Kevin Owens should be making a lot of money as well, like two three million. Um, Randy Orton should be making big money as well. So Seth Rollins should be making good money as well. So it's, this one's a little bit closer. Seth, Seth, and Seth and Randy should be making the same amount of money as AJ Styles. I don't see the, the pay discrepancy being that huge between top guys on this brand compared to SmackDown because Roman Reigns should be, should be making the most money. Period of all the brands, he probably does. <laughs> he goes back and forth. He's not on SmackDown. All right. So, what do you think in the comments? That's it for now. Clack off.